What is going on everybody? Jimbo Thick here back with more Ark in the Blacks campaign. So, right off the bat, we got a fight with a bunch of regular orcs, not savage orcs. Now the only thing we gotta worry about with these guys is the squigs. The squigs can actually do some pretty significant damage to Shopti. Now we do have our melee defense drastically increased through all the buffs that we have on them. It went from like um, in the 40s to being in the 60s. Likewise, our melee attack was really low. It's in the uh, the low 20s, and now it's in the, it's 50. Couple that with the weapon strength that they have, and now they are combat machines. So we've got really good Ushapta units, um, but the Squigs. Well, actually, their melee attack is pretty low. Honestly, I thought it'd be a little bit higher than that. But they are armor piercing. Now, what we do have going for us is the anti infantry. So they would be more tailored towards taking out like Tomb Guard. So if we meet them with Ushapti, we should be able to pull them down pretty quickly. But in addition to that, they also have a Wolf Rider. Now, the reason why that's dangerous is because we have these chariots. And even if a Wolf Rider gets a hold of one of these chariots, it's not going to last long. They're not meant to fight um, large units of cavalry. They're meant to just charge through infantry. So it'll be a little bit to work out with, but like the balance of power bar says, I think that we are going to shred these guys. They're not going to have much of a chance to do um, much of anything, but we still need to fight it just in case something goes horribly wrong because I don't want to lose any units. All right, we could definitely gamble those wins. That's terrible wins of magic. And I'm going to say... Start. Oh man, that sucks. Did we get banishment? We got banishment last time, so that's that's really good. In fact, we've got all the all the necessary spells we need. Nets of Amatok is going to, or um, Bjorn's Time Wrath is going to be very pivotal in this battle. It allows to just cleave through some green skin filth. How dare they even think about? Um, opposing the great and mighty Tomb Kings. The legions of Cetra. Well, not Cetra. Legions of Arkin right now. <laughs> uh, in my opinion, Arkin should be, you know, the followers of Gas should be their own little, little faction. Um, kind of a hybrid vampire Tomb King faction, which CA did kind of do, but I, I wanted even more. I wanted them to have access to a lot of, a lot more vampire units than they could, than they uh, currently do. But that's okay, because technically it's in the Tomb King Army book, so I really couldn't, you know, I couldn't blame them for, for wanting to keep it the way it is. Now the idea here is I'm actually going to line up my Ushapti as the front line, and we're going to follow up with the, um, with our standard infantry. Now, our, our Ushapti don't need any babysitting. That is the, the beauty of this. But the chariots, they're going to need some babysitting because I don't want them to get caught. We'll have our king. We'll, we'll kind of have him kind of sitting back a little bit. Same thing with our Lich Priest. He's on foot, so let's kind of just keep him maybe back here in the Spearman. Or he can hang out in the Tomb Guard. And we're going to do this. They're advancing. I probably should have backed up a little bit, actually. There's still time. Yeah, let's kind of back up a little bit and kind of draw them towards us. They shouldn't be too fast, other than the uh, wolf chair or the uh, yeah the uh, the um what do you call them? Wolf riders. Gosh, I'm losing all my senses today. Take them off skirmish mode. I don't know why they were even on that. Put them in their own group. As soon as they get back here, we will. You know what? This isn't going to work. Screw it, guys. Just turn around and fight when you get there. We're not going to be able to retreat far enough. I should have thought about that before. That's okay. All right. So basically, we're trying to stop the squigs from getting into any of our guys here. So let's actually go ahead and send these new shop to over here and we're gonna have butcher these squigs over this way. They're not gonna stand much of a chance. And likewise, we're gonna swing the chariots out wide and we're gonna use them for some, uh, some hit and run tactics here shortly. Okay, they should be within range here in a moment. Oh, 
shooting at those squigs. I want you guys to target these squigs though. Really butchering some squigs here. Oh, the warlord wants a piece of the war sphinx. That's okay. Now we're gonna start moving in. Let's go ahead and move you guys like this around them. I might have to micromanage that a little bit more in a minute. Okay, this is starting to pile up. We knew that was gonna happen. Put you guys over here. We'll shift you guys over here. Have the tomb guard come in, and they are going to lay a hurt in on these guys. Let's get you involved. Get on that bot goblin big boss, King. Get on that goblin big boss. Let's go ahead and uh, buff all of our troops over here. We'll get the chance. Make them very deadly indeed. Scared off most of those guys. This will go after some more boys. Oh shit, they got caught. That's what I was scared of. Come on. One of the risks you run of having them... Come on, pull out. Pull out of there. Alright, so those chariots are out, we're going to use them for flanking maneuvers. Like so. They're already starting to route though, so we shouldn't have many more problems. Get that. I want the, uh, the, if the Warlord dies, that's the thing about the green skins. If the Warlord goes down, it's all over. They're not going to do anything. They won't last five seconds. Matter of fact, they're not going to last more than, uh, more than two seconds, it looks like. As soon as the Warlord got engaged by the, uh, by King Lemzash, they just, they're running for the hills now. Let's go ahead and start butchering some of these guys, actually. You guys keep chasing them down. Let's, uh, let's stop him from moving. We'll let our king destroy him. So he's locked down now. He'll die. Let's move you guys up here. We do have a pretty healthy bunch of orc boys over here. Don't expect them to last too long. Let's run our war sphinx through there. Yeah, he's dead. So we'll have our king start to scare some of them off guys to do this. Oh yeah, this is a route. They didn't last long, did they? The chariots can come back this way and support the War Sphinx. Not that he's really going to need it too much. He won't. But every little bit helps. And okay, they're gone. We're not going to even need it. That time warp, and you increase that melee attack, and so you're hitting every time. And, uh, it can be devastating. Well, you almost lost some uh, some spearmen, but they are pretty much fodder until we can upgrade them with better units. So that went as expected. A complete slaughter of the green menace. Ugh, gross. <laughs> I really don't like green skins. They're probably my least favorite race. Alright, so as expected, complete face. defeat of the Green Menace. Got a little bit of loot from that. I like it. Um, you know what? We're going to take this. We're going to take the mountains. And we didn't have to fight the wall because we killed the parent army. So that gets rid of the, uh, the wall that they had going. We will need to move on the Lost Plateau, but we've got a, a little bit of time here. Hey... Um, we have animal cages already. Let's go ahead and you, you know we we gotta we gotta beef this mountain range up. Probably Karak or Urug who probably won't need to, but the rest of them, yes. King Lami Zash, oh yeah, get you a chariot, man. Hell yeah, he's gonna get a chariot, and then we're gonna get a war sphinx eventually. So how are we doing? Click on him. Yeah. Oof, that's not good. What's the rank on Spearman? Yeah, let's just drop you guys. My dynasty. And we'll throw in some uh, some more Spearman. <laughs> Sweet. So we got a new set of Spearman there. King Romanerev is going to have to face down 
all of the awfulness that is coming down this direction. We defeated the a big collection of dwarves last time from Karak Zorn, who I guess should be controlled by dwarves, um, at least with the, the races that we have available to us right now. Now Arkin is poised to take Enoch there, and we were using you to just kind of guard the Spring of Eternal Life, and I think we might still do that until we can get some more um, some more upgrades in place. Builder's hands about to finish building there. Man, we can get a lot of stuff around here. Maybe we save up a little bit because we will be had we will be able to build some of these more higher tier buildings soon. Yeah, very soon in like one turn. So we're going to leave that as it is. Let's go check on Ult One. Let's see here, King Patep is ready and willing to well. We're probably not going to attack Lothurn directly, but we are going to make a move against him, at the very least. Ooh, Torsa Thigh here. What do we want to put up here? We could put in this, maybe get some more uh, some more Hex Wraiths. Not that Hex Wraiths are going to do us much good against uh, High Elves. Really, we need... Um... Oh, we can actually get Tomb Guard. About to say, really, that's what we need. Is we need some, we need some, some sturdy troops to hold the line. Tomb Guard are the sturdiest we're going to get. <laughs> so, and they would do a lot better than the Hekar Warriors. Hold on one second, though. Let's see what does uh, King Rahoshin has. He's got, I mean, he's got a decent army. He already has some Tomb Guard. But he's got a little bit of a steady, steady line there. Okay, we'll go ahead and give you banishment. Start finishing that out. Now, do we want to move here? Address me as your highness. Address me as your I think highness. I want to hit Torinok. We can't reach it yet, though. We're not at war with them. Huh. We're not at war with these elves anymore. Because they changed? I think it's because uh, because they're no longer Lothurn. Let's let's make sure. Definitely. Yeah, we're not at war with them anymore. Ooh, they got a lot of settlements. We're untrustworthy. <laughs> Go figure. And now you pay the we could be raging war here in the north this entire time. It's a slow war, but a war that I think that we might be able to at least hold them back. Maybe be getting loot raiding their lands the whole time. It wasn't something that I was planning on though. Hmm. There's a gold mine there. I could always use some golden idols. Man, do we do we keep fighting the uh, the high elves or do we pull back, cut our losses, maybe just do some raiding? Maybe we just do some raiding out here at Vol's Anvil, since uh, they're, it doesn't look like they're going to attack us. It'll give us time to really build up the population surplus. Yeah, we'll still have enough to build something because it's about ten thousand. Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. We're not we're not going to make war. We're just going to raid them and force them to attack us. <laughs> that way it doesn't hurt our reputation any more than it already has. Alright, yeah. So far so good, guys. This is uh, definitely the late game, but I think that we're, we're going to pull this off. Okay. Um, as far as any... Do we want any of these other lords here? Uh, no. Uh, it's okay, but no. How about you? Yeah, I do like Rakashk of the Second Dynasty. We do like him. But before we do that, that's for Carrion. I have absolutely no Carrion in anything. Ooh, Crop Necropolis Knights. Weapon Strength. Let's do the uh, the melee attack and melee defense first. That's that. That'll be good. Uh, oh yeah, we're we're not doing anything now, are we? 
We already burnt that down. Are we making anything right here? Or do I need to get... Yeah, that's that's because I burned that down. Um... Can we move here? Kind of... Kind of hide out? See what these guys do? Yeah, well, I guess we'll call that good. Oh, I forgot about our witch priest we have down there. Kind of doing some scouting. We're at war with lizard men. I would, uh... I would like to not be at war with them anymore, if at all possible. And we do need to take back Kasaber. But the moment we take that, we are going to have Wood Elves <laughs> and Dawi all over us. And right now, we just can't afford that. Now, the Lizardmen are going to be a problem. I already know that. Oh, Marathi, don't you dare. You betrayed us. You better not. You better not. We're trading with you. Don't be like that. You don't want to attack me just because you're number one. I mean, they probably do. <laughs> don't think I won't sell over to Nagaroth and put a smack down upon you. I might. That would be a hard fight, though, honestly. We're having a hard enough time with the High Elves. Oof. The Dark Elves? Their units are, like, made to fight... <laughs> <laughs> cheap, unarmored, unarmored infantry. All the units would cleave through us. Hmm. You want to mess with me, huh? Don't worry, Carrick Zorn. We're coming for you as well. Those bastards, man. I can't believe that. I thought that they would love me up here for fighting uh, the high elves this whole time. Thought we were best friends. Oh, ah, uh, fine. We'll bury him. The Judas Priest. Oh. Let's go ahead and take uh, Kara Orud. Orud. Oh shit! It has walls. Uh, okay, we're fine. Occupy. Please have our resources. Nope. I hadn't built it yet. Get that obsidian quarry. And as soon as that's in, we are going to be in pretty damn good shape to uh, to do to pretty much fill out anything left in the mortuary cult that we want. Okay, he's... Yeah, the wood elves are going to strike out soon. I know it. I can feel it in my undead bones. Bagar is still relatively defenseless right now. Could hit Antok. Are we, st we, we are, yeah, we are at war with them. What do they have at Antok? Just a couple lizard men. Not much. If we take that plus the plane of tusks, maybe we can get a peace treaty with them and get them to leave us alone. Okay, so let's try this. Arkin smashing lizardmen. That just happened. Occupy, good sir. Taking back the promised land. One settlement at a time. Let's go ahead and give you that. And we will keep the funerary district until... Well, you know what? Let's get rid of the one at Bagar then. And we'll put in something else. The speed. Us around our empire. Okay, now as far as Arkin, we do kind of want to beef him up a little more. We want him to be able to hit more often. We want him to be not not a great force, but a decent force. Damn it! I spent too much money. We'll be making some soon. Let's make sure we've got everybody. Doing something here. Like this. Do some raiding. We piss them off enough, and uh, they'll they'll want they'll either want to fight us. Or they will uh, want a peace treaty or something. Alright, we're gonna be making seven grand the next turn. Hell yeah. Ooh. Do we do it? The extra public order would be nice, and we wouldn't have to babysit this joint. 
That goes from plus six to plus eight. That's pretty good. Uh, nah, not for now. We're actually saving money this time. Going in the turn. Oh, I, did, I, did. I should have checked in on King Wakoff. I think I can uh, recruit some more units for him now. Because he's going to need a better army. And we might send him south. Maybe. Yeah, I'm thinking we send him south to help defend against any incoming lizards which are bound to start moving our way with us expanding into their territory I would think it doesn't mean they will but I would think that they would call to pleasure Marathi if you betray me <laughs> that would be a very Marathi thing to do betrayal but Mm. Oh, isn't that nice? They made they made nice. That's that's so sweet. Oh, Sudenberg, fighting everyone else. Oh yeah, Casaber is not going to be long for this world if they're already making war. Th oh shit! Do you see that army? Oh shit! And it has a wall. They might retake that settlement. We could uh, we could afford to lose it and just take it back. That wouldn't be too bad. We do need to get a hold of that army, though, for that other book, Nagash. Wounded my witch priest. Oh, yeah, that is a that is a good army. It's a mix of Br Bretonian and Royal Hippogriff Knights. Holy shit. Bretonian and... Um, Empire units. The flagellants are really good. The battle programs. This is an army built to defeat Tomb Kings. That's what that is. Now, if we could sucker them onto Vol's anvil and fight them there. Ooh, King Tutep. Okay, what do we uh, invest in? War Sphinxes. And we were investing in Ushapti. So let's see. What do we got up here? That's for Tomb Guard. We don't have a lot of those. This is for Ushapti. That might be... The God of Earth might be a good one to use. We don't have a casket in this army. Ooh. And sepulchral stalkers. Now, we do have sepulchral stalkers, right? We've got some... We could make him our, our ambush army, King Thutep. I, have my I almost like that. A soft the goddess of magic and vengeance. Increased missile damage plus the uh, ambush success chance. Hell yeah. We're gonna do it. Yeah, it sounds like a good a good plan. Sounds like a good plan, Cotton. Do you know who I am? <laughs> yeah, a, a Luminarch and a, a cannon? I mean damn. Am I the only one who thinks that's that's a little OP? Alright, we can start actually, yeah, look at this. Everywhere we can start actually putting in better stuff. Let's go to El Calabad first. Um, we don't have any Necrosphinxes. And we could probably start putting those in some uh, some of these other armies. Or another Kimian War Sphinx wouldn't be bad. We need some Necrosphinxes. Let's go ahead and get that. And we'll keep, we're will keep. we going to keep this kind of high and start popping in some more of those units. Yeah. Do we leave this unguarded? The moment we leave, they're, they might try to pull a fast one on us. Just got a feeling. Alright, our Lich Priest of Death here. Let's get him Earthling and then we'll get him... Um, Okay, conduit here. We could start moving you to, towards Kasaber. Ooh, Bagar has got a pyramid for al And we can get a gemstone mine. Okay. Well, in that case, let's just put in a... I don't know. We'll put in a mortuary house and we... If all goes well and we take a bunch of this, we might not even need to protect Bagar that much. We do have some orcs coming towards us, towards Mount Arachnos. Don't like how close they are. 
but I really do need to kind of build up our forces here. We do like that. Yeah, how many is that? We'll have a decent amount by the time that rolls around. Now you guys are killing me. My, my skeletal spearmen are ruining this. Can I get some better ones? Yeah, let's get Kinakesh's Legion. And then um, we'll just pop in one extra one. For this turn, and then that way, after they, they're going to take Mount Arachnos from us. It wasn't that big of a loss, honestly. But um, it sucks that we're going to have to kind of backtrack there. Uh, let's not spend much more money. We're still kind of saving. And let's actually start moving towards the Kasebra here. Yeah, we should be able to hit them next turn. Keep them from doing anything else. And in the meantime, Arkin can come hit the Lizardmen over here. Stomp on them once again. Take it, and we've almost taken back our, our lands from everyone. We almost have him. Okay, let's continue to buff ourselves up. I guess we'll get Tomb Strike. I guess. Our Tomb Prince leveled up as well. Um, what do we need to give you? We could up your melee defense. It's already it's already high. I, I guess we might as well. Might as well up your melee defense. He's gonna be a, he's a combat monstrosity right now. Our Tomb Prince is very. Very powerful. Alright, let's check out everybody else up north here. You're making us some money. I like it. Greatness you make more over here? Yeah, hell yeah you do. Raid Toranok for me. Keep the temp. Raiding right there. That's fine. King Wakaf. There we go. We need to put some more units in your army. Now we are giving you buffs to Tomb Guard things like that okay oh and we get you stuff for sepulchral stalkers so let's try to get some of those in his army if we can I think we're at the max right now but if we uh, keep building some more of those we'll be good let's go ahead and throw in um... yeah, he's got two right now we could use like two or three more honestly oh, man I don't want to I don't want to give you all the Tomb Guard. He's got bus for him, though. So let's throw in some Tomb Guard for him. Um, he doesn't... Man, he needs some better units. Oof. Guess we'll give you some Nehekarn Warriors. That's really all I, all I can afford to give you right now. Yeah, we'll do that, and then we'll uh, we'll re revisit this next turn. Let's see about the rights here. We could get a casket. That's forty five hundred, though. That's that's too much. Get all that in the turn. Get some more shop teeth that are going to be available to be recruited. Okay, so all of the elves are under all the high elves at least are under one one banner now. The Order of Lore Masters. And all the Dark Elves are under Morathi's banner. We need to see if the Lizardmen will accept peace now. If not, I will continue to raid and pillage their lands until they uh, until they want peace. <laughs> so, because I don't want to be fighting them anymore unless I have to. We've got our eyes on two books right now. Um, that rogue army up there is going to be, oof, that's going to be a tough fight if we have to fight them. A very tough fight. Oh, shit. Kalida declared war on us. She is an ocean away, but she could easily, because she's actually rather powerful. She's, uh, she's taken over vast swaths of Lustria, it looks like. Here they come. Uh, I knew this was going to happen, that's why I didn't bother to protect it. They'll take it back. Or they'll sack it. Like, a, a, okay. Whatever. That's fine. Just know that we're coming for you. 
we're going to stomp out the remainder of those orcs. Uh, let's take, take the jars. God, we got a lot of jars now. And we got the bus for Necropolis Knights. Let's go ahead and further buff them even more. And we can afford to put in another major late game unit. Could we get some more higher titans? Let's uh let's put in a war sphinx here. Let's see how that uh, how that goes. Our tech is, can also have stuff put in there. God, well, yeah, we're making a lot of money up north. I like that. I like it a lot. Let's see if the lizards want uh, want peace. If they want peace, we can cease attacking them. They don't want peace yet. Come on, guys. Don't make me keep hurting you. I don't want to do it. I will do it, but that doesn't mean I want to do it. I doubt his attention. See how our Necrotech leveled up. Um, we might want to up his armor. Honestly, <laughs> he does not do well in the uh, in the fights. That's for sure. We could even give him over my dead body here. Make him a little bit faster so he can get away. We got one more turn, and then we can recruit some more uh, Necropolis Knights for Arkin's army, and then. That'll be pretty much his his late game army for me, unless we replace some of these archer chariots with some uh, with some better units. Maybe um, I don't know. Maybe I don't know. I don't, honestly don't know. I don't know what I what I'd want to put in their place. I do think we need to drop the Kepra guard. They are a waste of space, so we'll probably drop them. But I think I probably want some more tomb guard in their place. Um, I like this strong core of Tomb Guard for Arkin's army. Um, maybe some more Ushapti? Yeah, maybe some Ushapti and then... Um, I don't know. Maybe we drop one of these guys and then pick up a... Uh, pick up a... Um, a Necrosphinx. Yeah, that sounds good. Maybe we'll, we'll have a lot of anti-large. A lot of hard hitters. Hell yeah. Arkin's army is going to be, oof, it's going to be tough to beat. And yeah, we can afford that. Let's get King Lummy Zah back into his city over here. Finally get Arcane Conduit. God, it takes a long time to get to that. Come settle down Mount Arachnos here. I guess we'll rebuild this. And I guess that's going to be it for over here. Let's check out everybody. Mizash, Rahul Shen, King Tatep, King Ramneraf, and then King Wakaf. So we decided. I haven't really decided what I want to do with King Wakaf. I mean, I guess we can throw in some some more Tomb Guard with Halberds there. And um, he needs some he needs some heavy hitters. So we'll, we'll give him a unit of. Ushapti. Uh, he needs a... Probably needs a Lich Priest, but we're out of Lich Priest. We could put, throw in a Tomb Prince. Oh, I like that. Skeletal Steeds. Hmm. Okay. Kind of like this one too, though. Nah, Cavalry Master. Cavalry guy, coming in. And in that same vein, we should probably buff him up a little bit, make him hit hard. And I guess we are. Yeah, well, I mean that's that's everybody. Let's end the turn. Not making a lot. It's not, we, we've only fought one major battle this episode, but um, 
We did manage. We we have taken. We've we've taken the uh, the land of the dead back from the living, except with the exception of those human holdouts. We do need to put a stop to them. I think we will. It's like uh, Kalida just declared war on us and plans on doing nothing about it. Not going to send anybody after us or anything. Maybe we'll send. Uh, maybe we'll send our uh, the king's army that way to go stomp on uh, Queen Kalida for a while. It's been a lot of Tomb King on Tomb King action, though. <laughs> a lot of it. They're all fighting each other. Hmm. Man, it's. I don't want that thing to get away, but at the same time, I'm scared to fight it. That's an easy one to complete if we get into battle anytime soon. All right, so Sudenberg, we just we just got the more Necropolis Knights here. Um, we could even up it even further and even get a unit with halberds. That's ten thousand. Oof. I feel okay leaving them for just a little bit. Yeah, let's get those knights in, like I've been talking about. And then that's three turns. And then how many turns do we have left on the? Uh, we have three turns on the Necro Sphinx. We'll see. We'll see what I want to do with that. Open the Put you in there. Strengthen our legions. What else do we want to do here? Hmm. It's Kofer. Could get even more Necropolis Knights. <laughs> ah. A lot of decisions here, huh? Making a lot of decisions. They're they're good decisions to make. Yeah, I, I'm, those Necropolis Knights are surprisingly good, so why not keep getting them? Let's go back to King Lamizash. We are garrisoned in Arachnos right now. We could easily take that army if it wanted to meet us in the field. We're fully healed. I want to say we can make it. Yeah, we can make it to the Lost Plateau. And so, ooh, the Lost Plateau is without them. Okay. Oh shit. That's a lot of green skin. Or we just fight the Lost Plateau, and they've got some savage orcs. Oh, okay. This this might actually be an interesting fight. So, let's go ahead and get this last book of Nagash. What do you say, guys? <laughs> so, Gashrak Armbreaker, you prepare to meet your final end. You do have a wyvern, but um, I don't care. I'm going to shoot you out of the sky. It does have a lot more different units this time around. I like it. I like the uh, the variety here. But um, let's not keep them up. All right, so we're in. And this looks like it's going to be a relatively easy battle to, <laughs> to defeat. I'm not sure where the reinforcements are coming from. Oh, that's right. We aren't fighting the reinforcements. So this is all they got. We definitely outrange them by a great deal. So we're going to post up here with the uh, Shafties with great bows. We're going to be able to get very close. Uh, the Rock Lobber, though, the Rock Lobber might have us. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, in that case, once again, I want a front line of Ushapti. We're going to have some of you guys out on the flank. We'll have you on this flank. And let's run the Tomb Guard in the center with our King and our Lich Priest back this way. 
We might even have our Lich Priest kind of over here to maybe lock down some of those Spider Riders so they can't get away from us. Hammer them into oblivion. Uh, the War Sphinx, for sure. They're coming right here. And then the Chariots will kind of hang back. Not going to be able to do a whole lot with the Chariots until we shut down the uh, Arachnids over there. Take you guys off skirmish mode. Same thing, off skirmish mode, put you on guard mode. We're going to kind of do this. Lock them all in place so that they don't outrun each other. And let's start moving up. Right about... Right about there. I'll probably start advancing before then. Now this will be a good spot for um, banishment if we can kind of get everybody clumped up into this area. Banishment should burn through some goblins. Oh yeah. Those goblins will stand no chance at all. I thought that they had some um, some night goblins though. There are going to be some night goblins hidden in here. The arrows are a little bit more worrisome. But we'll see how this goes. Let's check out all our units. This is actually one of probably one of my better armies, I'd say. We're gonna have rocks being thrown in here shortly. The War Sphinx looking fantastic. Got the little palaquin on top of there. And then as far as these guys are concerned, filthy goblins. Then we've got some savage and orcs back here. We got the uh, the spider riders, and then of course we've got their their leader on a wyvern. He'll be one of the first ones we uh, we target down. And then there's a ton of wolf riders and spider riders over this way. I mean, this is a pretty decent force. If it wasn't for all of the regular goblins, this would actually be a little bit scarier. If they had some more orcs, but they don't. They have nothing but goblins. They're not going to want to um, to sit there because we will beat the living tar out of them if they sit there. Yeah, look. We are already semi-massacring them. <laughs> uh... Yeah, they're not going to be able to do much of anything. Let's go and move you guys, start moving this way. Are they getting enraged yet? Alright, let's start moving in. We'll do Shopti. You guys start clogging up this side. If they run all of their... If they, uh, I think they're going to run everybody down the center here. That's not smart. Let's go and run. Let's keep our spearmen out here on the flank just in case. And our chariots now can start running this way. We'll flank around with them. You guys aren't doing as much good there. King, get engaged. Get engaged here. And then let's go ahead and drop a banishment in a big clump right there. A huge clump. And they are going to regret attacking us. Banishment going down. Sucking up all of those orcs. It's not going to do a lot of damage to my men since I have small units there. And they're already running for the hills. Let's go ahead and run, run all of you guys. Let's run all of you Shopti up here. And where are my... Where are you guys? How come all of you aren't over here? They didn't all get the memo, I guess. Keep running, guys. This is pathetic. Shut down the rock lava. We're just letting it pound us. Oh, yeah. We should probably um, kill their warlord here. All right, let's shoot him with a magic missile. Can't miss from this close. <laughs> oh, he's, he's gone. He is so gone. If Shopti, you're cleaving through him. Are you gonna shoot him or what are you doing? He's gonna get away before we shoot him, aren't we? Yep. Maybe not. Now these Shopti might take care of him. Maybe. 
keep this going, guys. Keep it going. Keep chasing them. That's the thing with green skins. They will constantly regroup if you don't chase them down. Let's go and run you guys this way. Alright, you know what? I'll sell this. Another banishment. <laughs> Wanna watch it happen? Because I do. Yes. Come on. Oh, you're going the wrong way. No. I'm starting to retreat through it, though. That's even better. Okay, there you go. They are all ratted. And we lost very little troops in that fight. We didn't even make it to the first realm of soul tier. Let's go ahead and bind their souls and punch our ranks. Oh really? That, that wasn't it? I thought we took the Lost Plateau. Really? Let's hope it doesn't lose any units. We didn't lose any units. Okay, so that's, that's it. Wiped out those orcs. And got the third book of the gash. The third of Nagash's books, a tome of a thousand souls, all singing for their release. The spirits howl and scream. Let their chorus Echo our zeal for power. Yes. So we got a third book, and there's there's one to go. So technically we have four, because we started off with one. And so Arkin has... He's come a long way. We've almost collected all the books to raise our master back up from the ashes. And that is going to be um, all the time we got for today's episode, guys. But one book to go. We have pretty much taken the Land of the Dead, with the exception of Kasaber, which will fall shortly. I very much assure you of that. And with that, um, this is pretty much end game. So thank you guys for watching, and I look forward to seeing you all in the next episode. Have a good day.